What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Buster video for you all today. In today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in. And they gave us 3,000 quarters to get started today. So this is a pretty expensive game, but luckily they gave us plenty enough quarters to start with. So yeah, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can win all this money out of here. What have they got in there today? Looks like probably the world's biggest castle. Made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips. Yeah, I've seen setups similar to this over the past couple of days, but this one right here is definitely the biggest castle I've seen so far. So, anyhow, they got a whole bunch of cash up front. We're already getting some of that to go. Oh, nice. There we go. And uh, let's see, they got two stacks of hundred dollar bills on the pressure back there and a whole bunch of gold. Wow, they got tons of stuff in there. We're about to get the center of that big old castle to fall down. See that? Oh yeah, it's going to fall backwards, I think. Nice, there it goes. Let's get that loot chute cleared out. Alrighty, I am back. So check that out. That big old tower on the right side, it's leaning a little bit. Nice, there it goes. Oh my goodness, did you see that? And check that out. I think there was like two Mr. Bags on the edge right there. That is awesome. Oh my goodness, this big old stack of cash right here, it's blocking the uh, tower from falling all the way down. That is insane. I've never seen this happen before. Nice, there we go. Wow, look at all those chips we're winning. A whole bunch of five and $25,000 chips. Possibly some $10,000 chips. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? There's another Mr. Bag. Look at that. It's over there on the rocks. Wow, that is amazing. Holy smokes, let's get the loot chute emptied out one more time. Alright, I'm back, so check this out. We got two mystery bags so far. I think I'm going to go ahead and open up this brown one right here, because it feels like it's loaded up super good. Oh my goodness, there's a whole bunch of quarters in there. Check that out, that'll help us out tremendously. Well, I'd say that was possibly around uh, 50, 60, 70 quarters. Still a pretty good amount of quarters, so let's get right back to pushing. We're also about to get that like burgundy red mystery bag on the rock. Nice, there we go. Cutting nice for a better push than that. So yeah, comment the number eight if you're enjoying this video so far. And also lets me know that you're still watching the video. So eight is the number for the day. And uh, y'all will probably be seeing this video on Easter, so uh, happy Easter to everybody. Hope y'all are having a great day so far. Yeah, so tomorrow uh, is actually Sunday, because I'm filming this on Saturday. So hopefully tomorrow they build like something Easter related, like a big old Easter basket or something. It would be absolutely amazing if they would do that. Oh my goodness, nice, that tower just fell over. Check that out. Well, all this stuff is stuck against the glass pretty bad, but not nearly as bad as that U.S. Capitol Tower. My goodness. Yeah, the other day they had this, probably the world's biggest U.S. Capitol Tower made out of poker chips in there. And it was all stuck against the glass for what seems like two hours at least. Yeah, at the minimum two hours it was all stuck against the glass, so... If you haven't checked out that video yet, I highly recommend you go and watch it after you're through watching this video right here. I don't go nowhere yet. This video still has a lot of progress to make. Well, I mean, you know how long the video is. Obviously, you can check. But I've been playing this game possibly around 15 or 20 minutes so far. For you all, it's probably 5 or 10 because I edit out a lot of the boring stuff where it's like not really pushing anything. Wow, it's literally all piled up against the glass again. Well, we still got about uh, 1,500 quarters left up top here, so we're just a little over halfway through our quarters now, which is not bad, not bad at all. But the only problem with this game, I did not see a single quarter inside the machine except for the quarters that was in that mystery bag. So eventually, we're going to start struggling to win quarters back. That's where the $1 chips would come in handy. They're usually stashed inside the mystery bag, so... Yeah, we'll check out that other mystery bag, and I thought I'd seen a burgundy red one fall off of there on the rock. 
so we'll definitely be keeping an eye out for those one dollar chips yeah each one of the one dollar chips at this location is worth uh, 500 three quarters we get a turn them in they'll give us 500 three quarters for each one of them typically in the larger buy-ins you'll see anywhere from five to ten of them in each game so yeah i wouldn't say they're rare chips they're definitely valuable super super beneficial if you can get them wow it's all piled up against the glass again but like i said not as bad as the u.s capitol tower that one got severely stuck in there yeah the quarters are starting to get really really stacked up back there behind all those chips you see all that that's how you know it's piling up big time Let's see, what do they have on the blue shelves today? They got two more of the dollar sign, or the ginormous dollar sign mystery bags on top of them golden walls back there. They got a tower of five and ten thousand dollar chips on each side, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm going to have to get this loot chute cleared out. It's putting a little bit of pressure on the pressure back there. Kind of tell it's starting to struggle just a little bit. But I don't think anything could top that U.S. Capitol Tower with chips getting stuck against the glass. I don't think anything could ever top that. And that was honestly my best video yet. So I will actually put that video on the end screen of this video right here. It will uh, pop up in the top left of the screen. So be sure you check that out after you're through watching this video right here. So anyhow, let's get that loot chute cleared out. I'm going to try to anyway. Alrighty, I am back. So I got that loot chute cleared out the best that I could. So we did win that burgundy red mystery bag right here. It's one of the baby ones, so I will check that out here in just a moment. We'll check it out together and see if there's any nice and valuable goodies in there. I'm really, really excited to see what they're going to build for Easter tomorrow. Well, I know when you're watching this, it'll be Easter today. For you all, it's going to be Easter Sunday because... I am uh, filming this video on Saturday, and you'll be seeing this on Sunday. So tomorrow, it'll be Easter for me, and then uh, hopefully they build something massive, like a big old Easter basket. That would be amazing. A lot of y'all suggested for them to make a big old Easter basket. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping they make one as well. Alright, so let's see. I think those two stacks of cash are, is the problem right now. As, as you can see, they're like stuck right in there. I think it's preventing the uh, chips and stuff from falling down. And we're doing decently well on quarters, I guess. Don't really have a crazy amount of quarters, but we got a decent amount of quarters. And we have not won any $1 chips yet, so... I will uh, separate all those chips here in just a moment, and I'll see if there's any $1 chips mixed in there. Oh my goodness, well the pusher's definitely starting to struggle again. Yeah, I thought we was going to get it to break free there for a moment. Oh nice, there we go, right as I said that, some of it broke free. Well it's good that stuff is falling down there in the payout chute. You can hear stuff falling down like the chips, that's a good thing. That means the base of all this is breaking free, which is what we want. Eventually, only a matter of time, all the chips on one particular side are just going to drop straight into the payout chute. I'm thinking that center is going to go first and then the left and the right is going to go. Because as you can see those stacks of cash are like tilting uh, down now. You see them? They were like standing or laying flat but now they're like tilted down a little bit. Nice, there they go. You see what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we're going to get all these $25,000 chips. Yeah, that is a crazy amount of money. I still don't understand how we're able to buy into this game for only $10 million considering how much stuff is in there. Yeah, this right here looks like at least a $50 million buy-in. Wow, it's just raining out of there. Check that out. Yeah, we're going to end up getting all those chips. It's only a matter of time. It'll, be, it'll definitely be worth the wait, because that is a tremendous amount of money, like I've been saying. I mean, it only takes four of those to make $100,000. Just look at how much is on the edge. 
This right here has to be like millions just stuck on the edge right here. And if there's any white dice in there today, it's technically hundreds of millions. Because the white dice will get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My uh, winnings will multiply by those numbers. Nice, we got one of them stacks of hundreds. Wow, that'll help out tremendously. You see that gap right there? That's leaving some space for some chips to fit down in there. And if we're lucky, we're going to get that other stack of cash that's on the edge, y'all. This is absolutely insane right here. Oh yeah, we're about to win big time. Come on, nice push. Oh my goodness, wow, it's severely close to going. Oh yeah, there we go. Starting to get some quarters that suck underneath of all that. Oh nice, there we go. We're getting some on the left now. It's falling through that little gap I was telling you all about. Oh yeah, nice. It's it's all going to go right there in the center. Guaranteed. Nice, there we go. Wow, look at all that money. Let's get the loot sheet cleared out. It got piled up big time. Wow. Oh my goodness, you know something I just now realized. Check that out. There's another Mr. Bag right there. Wow, this thing was loaded up with Mr. Bags today. Don't think I've seen it loaded up with this many Mr. Bags in a very long time. That is spectacular, you all. So uh, if you want to see more videos like this one, be sure you leave a like on it. That will get this video recommended to more people. And plus, I'll actually reward you all big time for hitting that like button. Say if we can get to like 10,000 likes within 24 hours of this video being uploaded to YouTube tomorrow, I will try a $50 million buy-in with a one-quarter challenge perhaps. So it's really up to you all. If you all want to see a lot more amazing content like this, uh, be sure you leave a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, well, subscribing is going to make it easier for you to keep up with the future content. And I will explain why, because, like, whenever you subscribe, there's this little bell icon that's right next to it. I think it's, like, on the right side of the subscribe button. And once you turn on that bell icon, you can click it, and it'll give you an option to put all notifications or no notifications. If you turn on all notifications, you will get a pop-up on your phone, TV, laptop, computer, iPad, tablet, whatever device you may be watching my videos on. For each person, it could be different. And uh, basically, if you enable the notifications, you'll get a pop-up on your device every single time I upload a brand new video. And I uh, post videos seven days a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out on these amazing videos. Every single day there's massive poker chip structures, sometimes massive quarter towers, quarter structures. Always guaranteed the best content of the best whenever you're watching my channel. So I'll be sure you tune in every day for a brand new video. So anyhow, we got most of it all cleared out of there except for that on the right. They'll probably end up rearranging that where it's all stuck against the glass. So that's actually a pretty good idea. I might go ahead and call them back here uh, just to see if they can rearrange some of that. And uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we get back to pushing, I'm going to go ahead and open up both of these little mystery bags right here. And we'll open up this one after we win all that stuff out of there. So let's go ahead and check these out, see if there's any nice and valuable stuff in there. Oh my goodness, we got one white dice. So like I said, the white dice, we get to roll them at the end of the game. Whatever they land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. That is incredible. So now let's check out the other one. Yeah, this one feels like it has a dice in there as well. Oh yeah, nice. So we got two dice in total so far. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I heard the staff talking earlier about like not putting as many dice in there. I thought I heard one of the employees say he's been winning millions or over a billion dollars over the past couple of days and we got to try to stop him. And I thought I heard one of the employees say something along those lines. So, yeah, I'm going to go for a max jackpot win on this game right here. I'm going to try to win as much money as I possibly can. And we can start by winning all these $25,000 chips out of here. Wow, that was a phenomenal push right there. Awesome sauce. We just lost a $25,000 chip to the gutter over there on the right, unfortunately. Yeah, you can also call those side slots or uh, 
house slots or dealer slots any money that goes down in those that would go to the owner and I would not get to win or keep any of that so I mean there's really no way to prevent it from falling down there it's it's inevitable we're definitely going to lose stuff to the gutters absolutely nothing we can do about that whatsoever now unless there was like say one chip or two chips on one side if you push on that particular side if you're lucky you might get it to flow on past the gutter without going down in there but if it's loaded up with chips like it is right now the odds of losing something is extremely high so there's really nothing you could do to prevent it especially when it's loaded up this good or like earlier for example when it was all crowded and everything was stuck on the edge who knows how much of this we lost to the side slots probably a whole bunch so with that being said hopefully we get that fifty dollar chip today hopefully it's stashed inside one of them mystery bags that would be awesome wouldn't it oh yeah that was a nice push right there did you see that 50 grand on that right corner is about ready to go into the pay as well I'd say we can get like most of this cleared out. I'm only going to use this one basket of quarters right here because I don't want to waste all my quarters just to get this last little bit of money because I have no idea how many more special chips are in there. Could be loaded up even more. And we still haven't won any $1 chips. So that's another thing I'm kind of concerned about. However, we still got that like small dollar sign money mystery bag, so yeah, we might as well go ahead and stop right here. I don't think we're going to get the five thousand and the seventy-five grand on the left, on the right in time. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and check out that other mystery bag. All right, here's that mystery bag. Let's go ahead and open it up. See if there's any nice and valuable goodies in there. Feels like it's loaded up really, really good. So let's check it out and see what we got. Oh my goodness, wow, check this out. So we got, looks like, three of the $1 chips. So that'll help us out tremendously. That is 1,500 quarters right there. And uh, we also got the $5 chips. So we're going to turn this in. They'll take all that stuff that is on the blue shelf. So put it here into the play field. And is this the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip? No, it's not, unfortunately. Yeah, the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip would have been like free towers made out of five and 10,000 chips. But this is just a regular $5,000 chip. My goodness, they tricked us big time on that one. Yeah, I thought for sure we had got super, super lucky and won the jackpot there. But it is what it is. I mean, we still got two more chances of getting some more special chips in those two ginormous Mr. Bags. So anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and turn in the $5 chip and the three $1 chips. We'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip. And uh, they took all that stuff that was on the blue shelves. So they put it all into the playing field. Yeah, they put that big old golden wall back there on the push here behind everything. So that should get things moving once it falls. And they put like four of the poker chip towers on the push here. And I'm assuming this big old tower right here in the center was all the chips that like landed on the blue shelves from that great big old castle they had in there. That's just my prediction. I could be wrong. Oh nice, there we go. Perfect. And I also think that gold is preventing those towers from like landing on the blue shelves. Well, I guess I spoke too soon. We just lost like uh, 35 grand. And that probably put us up to about a two or three hundred grand loss right there if we lost that whole entire tower. Nice, there we go. Did you see that? We just won a whole bunch of money right there. That was incredible. Alright, there we go. Had to get that loose shoot cleared out. It's always the safest bet to keep that loot chute cleared out at all times. Just to be 100% positive you don't lose nothing. Wow, this is doing miraculously well today. Look at all these chips we're winning. Yeah, we're definitely going to profit big time off of this game today. We've already profited big time. So basically everything that's falling off of the edge is pure profit right now. Really, really hoping we can uh, get that mister back over there on the right side as well. At the moment, it looks like it's stuck in there pretty bad, so let's see. How should we go about this? I'm thinking we should push on the right-hand side a little across the whole field at times. 
just keep everything moving nice and evenly. And there's still a ton of gold on the crusher back there. I tell you what, uh, let's go ahead and scratch that plan. Let's just dump a whole bunch of quarters in there at once. See what happens. Let's just rapid fire all these quarters. We'll eventually get things moving. Are you ready for this? Let's see what that does. Come on, get things moving. Oh yeah, we're about to get a whole bunch of gold. Nice, oh, there we go. That was a fantabulous push. That one was much better right there. Come on, big money, give me something. Well, I can't believe that mystery bag is stuck against the glass like that. Hopefully we can get it to go. I mean, that's obviously a good indication that there's something very, very like large in that mystery bag. Could be the blue earbud that uh, we get a cash in and they'll load the whole entire machine up with cash. You never know. To me, it seems like that's the only thing that could get stuck against the glass that bad. Or who knows, maybe it's loaded up with chips or something. I'm just trying to consider all possible outcomes for that mystery bag. Just trying to imagine what it could be loaded up with. I mean, I doubt it's dice, considering I heard the employees talking about, well, we need to limit how many dice we're putting in the games because he's winning a billion dollars every day. And if I did win a billion dollars every day, then there's no way this place could stay in business. So, yeah, they're probably going to try to make these games a lot more difficult. But they ain't going to stop me from winning, though. Can't stop a and coin pressure from winning. I mean, they can try to make the games a lot more difficult. But uh, I've got the skills to pay the bills. I know that for a fact. Oh yeah, that mystery bag is going to go, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and a lot of times they will like strategically place the mystery bags or the towers in there to make them more difficult to fall down. Yeah, I think they were hoping these mystery bags would get stuck against the glass. That was all part of their plan. And it worked for the one on the right, but luckily we got the one on the left. So... And also, just in case you're wondering how we're going to get that stuff back that we lost to the side tables or the blue shelves. If there's another special chip inside that mystery bag that we won, that would automatically come with a free reset, which means we would get to turn it in. They'd put whatever kind of powers in there, and uh, they would put all that stuff that we lost back into the play field for free, free of charge. wouldn't cost us a dime, so... But if there's no special chip in there, then it would cost an extra $100,000 buy-in fee, which it would definitely be worth it today. Because we got two of the white dice, and that is way over 100 grand that we lost. I'm going to say two or three or 400 grand, potentially. You're welcome to pause the video and try to count all that up if you want. I'll leave that up to you, though. So uh, what's everybody having for Easter dinner? I'm having, uh, let's see, I think tomorrow I'm going to have steaks, baked potato, and I think that's it, just steaks and a baked potato. Let me know what you all are going to have, and let me know what your favorite uh, Easter dinner is. I know a lot of people like uh, deviled eggs, yeah, those are pretty good. I mean, there might be some of those tomorrow. Me and the family are getting together for Easter, so... Who knows what they'll be making and bringing, so... Hopefully it's a lot of good stuff. Maybe something good for dessert as well. That would be nice. 
Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this mister bag right here. It's being super, super stubborn at the moment. So I think I might call them back here uh, just to see if they can rearrange that. They'll do a free reset where it's stuck in there. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. So I called them back here. They reset that mister bag and all those chips. They put everything right there in the center. So that should be a much better spot for that stuff. Hopefully we can get it to go here soon. I forgot to go down there and round up the quarters, so we're getting kind of low on quarters now. We're going to have to play it safe. Like, that's the majority of the quarters I got right there. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Mr. Bag, fall out of there. We need you. Oh, my goodness. No, it got stuck against the glass. That ain't good. That is very, very unfortunate right there. Yeah, whatever's in that Mr. Bag, it has to be extremely massive for it to get stuck against the glass two times in a row like that so let me go collect some quarters and we'll try to get it out of there all right so i rounded up about that many quarters that should be enough i would think so let's get right back to pushing after we win that mystery bag i'll open it up plus the other one we won earlier oh yeah we're gonna get this thing it's like right here on the edge now it's trying to uh, fall down into the payout chute you see that we're getting all the gold and the chips that are around the Mr. Bag. It's a good sign the Mr. Bag's going to go here shortly. Nice, we got it. Holy smokes, that was a huge battle right there. All right, let's get that last 10 grand. Nice, there we go. Perfect. So let's go ahead and open up the two Mr. Bags. Alrighty, I'm back. So let's see, which Mr. Bag should I open up first? I'm thinking we should open up the one on the left first. So let's go ahead and check it out. See if there's any good and valuable prizes in there. Now this one feels like it's loaded up super well. It's pretty heavy. I can feel the outline of what feels like a dice. and kind of see it. Check that out. It's like a cube shape. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up. See if there's any good stuff in there. Nice. Check this out. Wow, we got a whole bunch of $10,000 chips. Let's see. That's $30,000. I'll take it. Check both sides. Yep, thirty grand. Not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, we got four more of the $1 chips. Holy smokes, this is a good indication that there might be another special chip inside that other mystery bag. That is incredible. And uh, let's see, we got four of the golden dice. Holy moly. So like I said, the gold dice, we get to roll them, whatever they land on. The gold will multiply by those numbers. That is spectacular. So now let's move on to this mystery bag right here. Now this one, this one is definitely the heaviest out of all of them. And... You can kind of see an outline of like a chip or a coin in there. Maybe a Bitcoin. Who knows? So let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Wow. This was loaded up super, super well. Check this out. So we got another $30,000. That's pretty nice right there. Sweet. And we got a white dice right here, but I think there's more. Yeah, let's see. I'm just going to try to get the dice out of the way first. All right, so we got four more of the white dice, and there was two Bitcoins here, and I just dropped one of them. So that makes three Bitcoins in total. That's pretty nice. And we got three more $1 chips. And nice, check this out. We got the 5,000 slash 10,000 chips. See that? So if you don't know what this is for, uh, like I was, I think I told you all what it was earlier. We get to cash this in. They'll load the whole machine up with towers and uh, five and $10,000 chips. Or sometimes it's one tower, sometimes it's multiple. So anyhow, that is absolutely amazing. We're going to make a bunch of extra money off of this game. And you know what else that means? It's going to come with a free reset, which means I'll put that back in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and cash in the 5,000 slash 10,000 chip and all them $1 chips, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turn in that 5,000 slash 10,000 chip, and all seven of them $1 chips, they gave me 3,500 extra quarters. And they built this humongous tower made out of five and ten thousand dollar chips in there. There's also a gold bar on top of it, so all that stuff that we lost to the blue shelf, they can mine that with that big old free tower they put in there. So everything that was in there is combined all into one tower. So wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can win all that stuff out of there. Moving along pretty good so far. Check that out. Oh yeah, it's moving super, super good. Yeah, we'll get that to fall down in little or no time, possibly. Yeah, I'm super, super excited to see what they're going to make tomorrow. 
I'm really, really hoping they build a big old like Easter basket made out of poker chips or quarters. Quarters would be nice as well. Or who knows, maybe poker chips and quarters. Yeah, just uh, leave them some Easter ideas down in the comments section. And uh, you can leave me the ideas and I can show the staff your all suggestions and stuff. So. Yeah, a lot of times the staff will listen to your all suggestions. All I gotta do is just show them the comments that I get. And they might end up listening to one of you all. So anyhow, this big old tower it is super, super close to the edge. Very, very close, actually. Come on, nice push. Oh yeah, it's on the ledge of the pressure now. It's going to go... That right there might be a win right there. Come on, oh nice, it just lost three more chips at the base of it. Nice, there it goes. Wow, would you look at that, that was awesome. Wow, we just won so many $10,000 chips right there. That was incredible. Wow, this has been a terrific game today. And I know it might look like I win at these every single day, but that is not the reality of the situation whatsoever. Because you all are seeing like pretty much the absolute best video of the day. Like you're seeing the game with the biggest towers, the biggest win, the biggest profit, the game with the most special chips in it. Like all that stuff. So you're seeing like the best game of the day. And keep in mind most of the time I play anywhere from two to five games a day. And I might get one winning game out of all that. Sometimes two if we're lucky. And I'll just post the best one out of the bunch of videos that I film. So it's a very, very difficult uh, job making these videos because most of the time I'm here all day trying to find the best game to post to YouTube. I mean, I could post the losing videos and cut it up into like part one and part two like that, but that's all boring to watch. Most people don't like that stuff. And I don't want to kill my channel by doing that either, so... Yeah, I just try to post the best video of the day. Anyhow, we got all those chips out of there. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. So, let's see. Should we try to win some quarters back? That might be a pretty good idea, actually. Because there's still quite a few quarters in there. Yeah, I might just finish out this little basket of quarters right here. There's not that much left in there. Like, if we can put a couple quarters in... Like, let's see what we can get for about, like, $2 at once. Watch how many quarters we win. That was probably 3 or $4. And all those quarters add up as well. Like I said, I'm going for a max jackpot win, quarters and all. I mean, it would have been nice to get that $50 chip today, but it is what it is. You can't expect to see it in there every day. Alright, so we got one more handful of quarters. Let's put them all in there at once. Alright, there we are. Let's see what it does. Come on, nice push. Wow, that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. We got the whole machine cleared out today. Couldn't ask for a better game than this. So I'm going to go ahead and call them back here. I think we have won 10 dice in total. We got 6 of the white dice and 4 of the gold dice. They'll put all 10 of them dice on the pressure back there. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they all end on, we're going to get to multiply our winnings in our gold by those numbers. So let's call them back here and we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. So I called the staff back here. They put all 10 of them dice on the pressure. So let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all end on some magnificent numbers today. Well, we got a 4, a 5, a 3, and a 1. The 1 does not count at all, by the way, so just pretend that one don't exist. However, sometimes when the quarters push forward, it ends up like flipping the dice over to a larger number. So, hopefully we can end up doing that today. I wouldn't count on it, though, because the dice are pretty stubborn when it comes to flipping them over. Well, the rest of them are doing absolutely exceptional, so we're definitely going to call it quits right there. Literally all the dice landed on fabulous numbers except for the one on the gold there. So I'm going to count everything up. I multiply our winnings in the gold by all that. And I'll let y'all know how much money we've made today from a $10 million buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've won today. This is absolutely insane. 
I ended up winning $33,777,885. That is the chips and the cash all put together. And the white dots today totaled up to 24, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 24. And in total, I ended up winning $810,669,240. From a $10 million buy-in, so that is over $800 million in profit today. So even though they like limited the amount of dice that are in there, this is still a crazy win today. So I think they probably need to start limiting the amount of chips they put in there, because that was definitely a new record win for $25,000 chips. And that's possibly the most amount of money we've ever pulled out of there before, $33 million. That was absolutely fantabulous right there. Excellent win today. Holy smokes, I am just thrilled right now. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Wow, that is a huge surprise today. So that's like almost five days in a row that it's been almost a billion dollar win. Sometimes it's over a billion, sometimes it's a hundred million less. So that is just insane. Absolutely mind-blowing game today. And uh, it doesn't end there. On top of that, we won 87 ounces of gold. And the gold ice totaled up to 12. So in total, I ended up winning 1,044 ounces of gold today. The spot price of gold is 2,190 an ounce. I'm pretty sure. So that means we got $2,286,360 in gold. That is a brilliant win for the gold right there. And uh, last but not least, we ended up winning uh, 3,999 quarters. I know it's like one quarter away from 4,000. That is just insane. So let's go ahead and divide that by four to get the dollar amount. It means we got $999.75 in quarters. That's a pretty decent win for the quarters there. And also, oh my goodness, I almost forgot. We also got three of the Bitcoins. So that is three entries into the free $100,000 buying giveaway. So that is not bad, not bad at all for a $10 million buy-in. That is extremely massive win today. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, be sure you drop a like and subscribe. Turn on the post bell notifications, that way you're notified for future videos. And if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, you can click that box at the bottom right of the screen there. And if you want to check out yesterday's video, the previous video, you can click that box at the bottom left of the screen. And if you want to check out this amazing video right here at the top left of the screen, you're welcome to do that. That'll be the U.S. Capitol Tower that I was talking about earlier. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I will see you all on the next video. You all take care and have an exceptional day.